Hey folks, uh, we had like three or four days of real cloudy days and I had to take the inverter offline about an hour ago and connect my 120 volt AC usage to the city power right now I'm at 25.2 volts DC and this guy here the magnet shows 25.2 four or three and I go to the meters state of charge I'm at 82 percent I didn't want to go more down than that because my buy oh my wife the boss had three loads of laundry heavy duty ones and the washer and dryer were working for hours and drained the batteries to 82 percent so I disconnected the inverter to prevent more drainage on the batteries hopefully tomorrow we'll be able to charge the batteries to 100 percent again let's check the meters it shows 26.28 i don't know what that means because it's not correct the dc amps is minus 14 and that's what brings my batteries to 82 percent you see there is no load and the inverter is off the only load on my battery bank is the lighting system the 12 volt lighting system or I better say the 12 volt load that is run by the Ames 24 to 12 volt DC converter that runs the lights in the house and charges the USB loads that I have. Right now we have the the kitchen lights. Hey babe. Hello sweetheart. The living room lights. and the hallway lights now let's go out and check the outside lights can check the oh these are the meteor lights check the new 30 watt lights that are connected to the motion detector there you go 
is one here. One here. So that's the only load I have on the battery bank. You're okay, babe. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to check the load on the Oh, there it is. On the 12 volt converter. That's the... Oh, by the way, my flashlights. They're all being charged by the that aims inverter too, converter or whatever you call it <clears throat> and that's the feed for the house I have like 13.3 amps 13.4 being drawn from the batteries for the lighting and the charging of the USB devices. I'm at the safe range right now. And I had to turn the inverter off. I didn't want to damage the batteries. So, I'm good, we're okay, we'll see what happens tomorrow, thanks for watching.